What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with some more 911 first responders. Um, today we'll be doing day two of the, uh, the U.S. Army mod. Uh, this was at the request of one of my subscribers, and, uh, you know, I just felt like revisiting Emergency 4 finally. Uh, I know I just said uh, a couple videos ago that I kind of got burned down on it. Um, I'm starting to feel the vibe again, and as it turns out, I really enjoyed it. I actually did record this video last night, but um, I never saved my day one playthrough, apparently, so I just ended up replaying again today. Um, I was a little bit more awake, and I just took the time to go through and try to get back to where I was. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get into it here. We're already responding out to a, a call for some protesters. Yeah. Or no, gunmen. Yes. Active shooters. These guys. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I did and did not have, so I just kind of guessed. So I've got uh, four marines, a sniper, a couple medics. Uh, oh, that's not going on. You park there, you... Oh, don't park there, don't park there. So it was requested that I just shoot these guys. So that's what's gonna happen. Now, one of the other reasons, too, I don't like shooting these guys, and I said it was because I like to try and take, you know, take them alive if possible. It also just takes a lot longer to get them loaded up in the medical vehicle and take them back that way. If I can avoid those casualties, it just saves me that much time, I still get the extra bonus, not only from, uh, you know, from keeping them alive, because you do lose points for uh, having them die, but I also get the, uh... The extra points for the time bonus. <laughs> yes, sir. And if I was finished with this, like if I was totally, um, you know, yes, developed sir. on everything, it wouldn't matter. But I'm not. And let's see here. So I just developed bases, but I can get. Um, let's see here. Soldiers. So now I'm able to uh, coerce yes, targets to uh, surrender at gunpoint, yes, so... Uh, or I will be, I guess. I'm not able right, to do that yet. That should be pretty beneficial. I never have taken advantage of that, but I suspect that's quite the uh, quite the nifty ability. We're going to park up here. And we're going to have our uh, medical Humvee return to the base and uh, drop off the, uh, you know, dead people, or deadish people. Okay. Oh, shoot, ambush the second time, really? Wow. That's actually unusual. It doesn't happen very often. It's not really convenient. Move it. Nope, don't do that. Yes, sir. Gear up, soldiers. Okay, you drop that, you get in there, grab that guy. Oh shoot. Shooting that through the fence seems legit. Is he really still shooting that? Okay, whatever. I don't care. Listen 
Okay, so Gear up, soldiers. Yes, sir. Go. You head back to base. You head back to base. You're gonna need repairs when you get back too. Um. Well, if you guys didn't shoot everybody, you wouldn't have to drive around the medical army, now would you? Listen up. Move it. Okay, you just yes, leave those sir. medical supplies right there. That won't possibly be used against you in the future. Move it. Okay, get Mr. Guy in here. Three minutes, it's just enough time I think for one more trip back. Let's go ahead and fast forward because the suspense will kill me otherwise. Oh yeah, that's right, it's got automatic repair now, I forgot about that. I like that. And as soon as those patients are gone, we're going to do that. Yes, sir. Two minutes left. Listen up. Go. Yes, sir. Listen up. Move. All right. Almost there. Minute and a half. All right, guys, you can do this. All right, you know, I'll yeah, I got about a minute left. It's not too bad. I mean, I prefer more time, but a minute's not horrible. Oh shoot, that's right. I still got to drop the guys off there. Okay. I've got four points. What do we want to put development in? Let's uh. Let's do this. So that helicopter can be really useful. I've not actually... Well, I have used the Blackhawk. I just haven't used it a great deal. <laughs> the traffic I was blocking off is just coming through right now. It's the pizza guy. That pizza company. Beppo's rolling pizza. You just like makes it in his car. Yes, Beppo's pizza. It's magically fruity. Yes, sir. I don't know why a pizza would be fruity. I guess you get fruity pizza. It'd be kind of weird to me. I'm a pepperoni guy, but what are you gonna do? So I've got 17,000. How much does that cost? Ooh, yes, 16,000. Oh. <laughs> right next to the uh, IED. God, that could have been bad. Um, I would like to get that Blackhawk, but it's a little bit pricey right now. Actually, wait a second before you go. I should have just scanned from that position. Uh, like I was saying, though, I would like that Blackhawk, but it's a little bit pricey for right now. But with that being said, it is a pretty worthwhile investment when you do eventually get one. Those helicopters can make a really big difference. Uh, normally what I do, though, is I'll just go with the little bird and I'll have a, a team of uh, rangers on it. I almost think, though, after some of the missions I had trying to get back up here, is uh, it might be more useful to have one with just general infantry, an engineer, and a medic. Yes, sir. That would've been nasty. Caught him on both sides, I was probably facing in.
the IEDs may have garbage can lids. Just stand on top of that. Yeah, that's not a problem. So... Oh, that must have been all of them. Okay, cool. I like that. I didn't realize that was the last one. I didn't even see the notification. I was not paying attention. I saw something come across the screen. I just didn't think of it. There's a dead sheep there. Gear up, soldiers. Yeah, he's, he's dead. So you go first. Then you go. I just saw something for the first time though yesterday while I was playing around. I had my helicopter out and I got attacked by anti-air. That one surprised me. I've never seen that before. And you know, it's cool that, you know, I've got, you know, a couple hours into this mod at least, you know. Let's see here, I've probably got about four hours, five hours into this mod and I've never seen the AA before. It's, a, it's always fun when you can see stuff like that after playing the mod for so long. Uh, where it just changes it so drastically and makes you kind of like rethink your tactics. Because, uh, you know, when I get my helicopters, I start getting to a point where my helicopters were like my first go to thing. <sighs> hmm. Okay, I don't like where this is going. This smells of an ambush. All right, we're gonna set him up. Oh, what the heck happened there? My. I'm sorry about the music, guys. Apparently, I started a second instance. Give me a second to fix this. I'm not sure what this is doing with fraps here. I am now in a black screen, and it's probably crashing my game at this moment. It's just like, I don't know what the heck to do. Oh my god. All right, do something, though. You're going to crash my game, aren't you? Alright, come on, do something here. Alright, cool. I did not crash my game, that's good. And that wasn't really good, but it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. I was thinking I might just have to do like a total new recording again. Listen up! Go! Listen up! Move it. Listen Move. up. Yes, sir. Listen up. Yes, sir. Move it. Go. Move it. Listen up. Well, you know what? That yes, went much Go. better than I expected. Oh. I should have sent him over there sooner. Yes, okay. We'll still get there Go. in time. Gear up, soldiers. Alright, right, yes, we'll just pull yes, you sir. up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen up. Go. 
And now you can run back there, you go back to headquarters. Alright, that was more than enough time to do that. Let's see, what do we want now? Mass production makes vehicles 25 or 20% 20 cheaper, that's pretty good. Uh, that I could care less about. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go with this, and then we'll start developing the uh, means to have the infantry make people surrender. It would be nice if they could like heal inside the vehicle, so that just because it like automatically puts them in there. Oh well, you all go stand next to the medical tent. Oh, come on. No. Really should just keep that guy in the Humvee. My primary focus here is just killing these guys, so what I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna bother sending in my infantry, I'm just gonna snipe these guys and then send in my uh medics to clean up the mess. I shouldn't have anything except for the fire truck in there that they can hurt. Actually, you know, what, let's if we can, let's even get the fire truck out of there. Uh, I believe as long as they're just like even right outside the base, they should be okay. Not what I meant for you to do, but nice try. Why won't you die? Fire. Fire. No, by all means, go for the mortar. <laughs> that was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant on your part. Okay. Okay, you get that. Oh, you guys don't have your medical up, packages soldiers. at all. You know what? I only want one of you to have it. Yes, sir. Nah, Gear you up, you guys both should do this. Listen up. Go. Yes, sir. Listen up. Move it. Yes, sir. Well, Listen two up. casualties. Go. Yes, sir. A sniper can't break that down, I guess. So, you go ahead, go back to your truck. You go back to quarters. You can go back. You guys can go back. And you get to come out here. And you get to break that down. Because I know for sure you can. I thought the sniper could too. I don't know why he wouldn't. They didn't teach me that. The general infantry all know how, but they didn't teach me that. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I was thinking of the fast forward button, I guess. Alright, let's move. Gear up, and while we're waiting on him to get back, you guys just go ahead and pack that up. They're dead as a doornail, so you can go ahead and load these guys on. Not that there's a rush. I mean, you should just go ahead and throw them on there. And you know what? We're at the uh, we're at the 20 minute mark here. I think we'll call the mortar the last one, unless we get something like a chemical bomb. Actually, I don't know why we do a chemical bomb. That's a really long one, but yeah, we'll we'll see what the next emergency is. If it's something like really small, I'm not gonna bother with it. 
Okay, then. I know it's kind of cheating, you guys, because I fought with the thing for a minute there, but... We'll still go off of that. Alright, eight minutes. Or eight minutes, eight points. Got that. Go ahead and start developing this. Yeah, we're not going to bother that. Go ahead, let's save this. Uh, playthrough 2. Day 2. And we are set to go. Alright guys, we will call that a day here. Uh, let's... Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. You know what, we got 35,000, so let me, before I quit here, let's go ahead and purchase ourselves a Blackhawk. Which is now down to 12,800, so that's lowered the price. Uh, about $3,200. Um, things gonna be nice. Yes. It's got, um, room for four additional passengers on top of the, uh, you know, actual crew. Whoever's, you know, set to it. We've got 22,000 remaining, so let's buy ourselves two recruits. One well, of you guys is going to be a medic, and one of you guys is going to be an engineer. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more GI just to uh, escort them. And then they're going to be a squad. I have to change the camouflage. It's, they're replacing the military's uniforms now. Well, the army's uniforms, I should say. I mean, a little bit closer to the Marines. At least color wise. Pattern wise, Marines are probably sticking with the uh, Marpat. Okay, let's save that one more time. And then we're done. Okay. Well, guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Uh, we did hit that 300 subscribers. Actually, we blew that away. We're almost at uh, 320 now, I want to say. Or is it 310? I don't know. Anyways, we, we blew that away. We're, we're already way up there. And uh, we're almost 85,000 views, guys. It's awesome. And it's only the beginning. We're just going to keep growing. We're going to get bigger and more awesome. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown me. Um, all the people who just subscribed and the people who have been recently commenting on the videos, guys, thank you all very much.